What is up, Maniacs, and welcome back to the channel. I hope everybody's having a great one. And today we're going to be hopping into the Legend Anthology Academy event. Basically, I love this because all the cards that I hate are banned, so I just have free range to do whatever I want. And in this video, I'm going to be using Grave Keeps. Fortunately enough, Necro Rally wasn't banned, so you know I got to bring the Grave Keeps out. It's a pretty simple deck. Make sure to stay tuned to the end of the video and we'll show it off. But if you guys are new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe to it. Help me reach my 2023 20, goal of 10,000 subscribers. And make sure to slap that like button if you enjoyed the video. Leave a comment down below letting me know what do you guys think of this festival. Honestly, I think it's pretty good because most of the sweat decks in ranked are just kind of annoying and they're the same thing. I have been using one of them in particular and it just gets boring. I like the variety. I like using things. Um, with this deck, uh, I use just the Grave Keeps deck in this event and... For the most part, it was about a 60% win-loss ratio. Uh, there was a lot of losses because there was a lot of crazy decks, and sometimes I bricked harder than a brick house, so that's what happens. But in this video, we're going to show off the amazing wins. So, nonetheless, let's hop right into it. Alrighty, for our first match, we are going to be going first with this deck. You definitely would like to go first. You'd like to set up your Necro Valley to negate a lot of what your opponent wants. Dude, nobody's using Gravekeeper's 0.044%. It's insane. So we'll get the Supernaturalist out right away. We're going to strafe here. I mean, a steal. Um, I do believe in the later iterations I did take steal out, but... We're going to check it out at the end of the video. Alrighty. Okay. For four, Maple. Okay, Odd Eyes. Butler. Odd Eyes. Vortex. Dragon. Wow. They cleared it right. Just like that. Quite disgusting, but lucky. I was able to get, use Steel to get the Spiritualist and Spy back. Yeah, this one's going to hurt. This one's going to hurt for sure. All right. So, let's see what we could draw into here. Well, the Storming Mirror Force. I love the Storming Mirror Force. It works so well. We're going to Harpy's Feather Duster here. Use the Throne. Get the Commandant. Spiritualist. Use its effect. Are you serious? Are you freaking kidding me? Okay, the spiritualist gets popped. Well, that's quite unfortunate, but we have the storming mirror force. We're relying all our energy on the storming mirror force here because otherwise we're going to get destroyed. Okay, some more pendulum shenanigans. Okay, some more special summoning. As long as my back row does not get uh, Are you kidding me, dude? That was tragic. I was relying on that so, so bad. Okay. We're basically dead here, but we're going to see if we can make a comeback. And use Commandant's Effect. Get the Neck Rally yet again. Put that out there. Get the Heretic. And attack. Okay. They're going to get some more Pendulum. Crap. Okay. Face down defense. Oh, the moon mirror shield. Heck yeah. We're going to spy face down. And are you kidding me? Cannot be destroyed by battle, I believe. That is annoying. But they pop it for me. Awesome. Unaffected, my dude. They tried something for the heretic. I believe they tried to destroy it, but unaffected. Gotta love it. Alrighty, let's see what we get. Ooh, the Imperm. Okay. We're gonna flip Spy. And Headman. We did take that out because it was causing a lot of bricks in the deck, so we're gonna show off the deck list at the end that was a little more refined. We get the Supernaturalist. Okay. That one is gonna be able to be destroyed. And we get to attack directly for game. GG's, my dude. GG's. I think this was one of the first matches, so 
it definitely got refined after that so let's hop right in to the next match and for our second match we're gonna go second it's not the greatest but i do have a regeki harpy's feather duster i have a pretty strong hit they didn't even play anything okay ggs my dude because i got royal tributes i got everything so we're gonna go ahead and get the commandant out use commandant's effect get the necro rally use necro rallies get the heretic out and royal tribute all oh, your cards are gone brother <laughs> with the instant rage oh royal tribute your whole hand sucks but it is what it is let's hop right in to the next match and for our third match going second yet again which isn't the best but it is what it is and we have a decently good hand chaos sony beast oh no the uriah Fallen Paradise. I've seen a lot of these decks, so. We kind of know what we need to do. We need to get rid of that back row. We're going to Harpy's Feather Duster here. Get that out of here. We kind of beef up his monster, but it's all good. We are going to go ahead and get our Supernaturalist here. With Spiritualist effect. And now we got a Chunky Boy too. Alright, we're going to enter battle. Alrighty. We are gonna get ourselves temples, hidden temples of the Necro Rally on the end phase with Spirit Supernaturalist. I really wish it wasn't at the end phase because, like, what could you? It would be way better if it was just use this effect to get something from the deck. And they surrender. So let's hop right in to the next match. And for our next match, we are gonna be going first. So we have. A freaking strong hand okay get the spiritualist get the supernaturalist on the board again fairly easy to get especially since you can't get ash so hidden temples and royal tribute let's see it Ooh, sell mangrates all righty we're gonna get a commandant from that deck let's see they can't special summon so what are they gonna do they can't get anything back because of necro valley so they set a back row. Fun. Fun, fun. Okay, we get a Starlight Road. We're gonna summon a Commandant. And we're just gonna to battle Mirror Force? Okay, my Commandant gets destroyed. Supernaturalist is still dealing damage. Alrighty, we got our Starlight Road down. We're gonna get another Commandant. And they have nothing. They can't do anything. No switch summoning. Nothing from the graveyard. Okay, let's get the commandant out. Oh, actually, the heretic, sorry. Quaking Mirror Force. This time my heretic was actually the one that survived, so that was good. Awesome Quaking Mirror Force there. Okay, the Foxy. They're gonna get the Gazelle. But they can't special summon, so they can't do anything. I don't know what they're trying to do. They're trying to out it, but they cannot. So we're just gonna get the commandant out. Slap the foxy and with just a magical cylinder. Are you kidding me? All right, I did not see that one coming. Not gonna lie. All right, let's see what our opponent has the gazelle. Okay, they're gonna deal damage to themselves, I guess. Cool, and they surrender. Are you kidding me? Could have just let me finish it off, but it is what it is. Well, let's hop right in to the last match. And for our last match, we're going to be going first. And we have a pretty good hand. So we're going to start off with Throne. Get the Commandant. Pretty straightforward. Use Commandant's effect. Oh, we're going to get Ash. That's psych. I love the feeling of knowing that I cannot get Ash. It's amazing. It's beautiful. Okay. Road Tribute. Oh, your hand is gone, brother. Alrighty. We're going to get the Supernaturalist, but it's all good. They don't have crap. They don't have a jack diddly squat. Feels bad. Okay. We're just going to attack him to the face for 2,000. Okay. Unfortunately, I don't have too much more attack power. But it's all good. They don't have absolutely anything. That's beautiful. Okay, we got the heretic. We're going to use spiritualist effect. Get the supernaturalist. Use... 
its effect, and then we're gonna go ahead and Royal Tribute. They're playing Black Wings. Get the Heretic. Alrighty. Nothing. Are you serious? They couldn't draw anything. Alrighty. Well, luckily this opponent didn't surrender. So we're gonna steal here. Get this uh, Spiritualist. And get ourselves a Supernaturalist, of course. But, you know what? We're just feeling a little cheeky because you know we know we got the game. So we're just gonna go ahead and poly that into the Starving Venom Fusion Dragon. Just for kicks and giggles. And we're gonna smack him to the face to end the game. So, we're gonna check out the deck list. And for the deck list, we are gonna be running three gravekeeper spy three gravekeepers commandant three gravekeepers heretic three gravekeepers spiritualist one regeki one harpy's feather duster three royal tribute you saw how they rage it's freaking insane two gravekeepers steel three neck rallies throne three moon mirror shields three neck rallies amazing that this is not banned uh one hidden temples of neck rally Two super polys. This really helps, especially if you're going second. Just super poly into something. Most of them are going to be dark monsters, so really helps. Uh, Mirror Force, because you need some protection sometimes. Starlight Road helps you get uh, a free Stardust Dragon if your back row gets destroyed. Um, three Storming Mirror Force, one Imperm, and one Solemn Judgment. And for the extra deck, the only real monsters you actually need are three supernaturalists and three number 70 malevin sin and two stardust for your stardust road starlight road sorry but the other cards that i do have is uh gararu how do you say that garura one garura two starving venom fusion dragons uh two three chachi kochi dragon kachi kochi dragon yeah let's go with that and one time thief or doer why not we just need to round it off for 15 but let me know what you guys think of the deck honestly it's just super fun not to play a sweaty deck you saw it's not super sweaty it's just kind of easy combos you just kind of try to shut their your opponents down and it works out very well but if you guys have made it this far and are not subscribed to the channel please do it really helps out the channel a lot help me reach my 2023 goal of 10,000 subscribers i hope you enjoy and i'll catch everybody in the next one peace